Alex Ney. Um, the organization is My Story, and um, the project was completed in 2010. We partnered with um, Hacienda CDC and Central Northeast Neighbors to bring a photography workshop to 15 middle school and high school youth um, who are enrolled in Hacienda CDC's after school program. It's called Expresiones. And, um, it was a group of uh, youth living in their affordable housing uh, communities, the Hacienda CDC is affordable housing communities, and um, it's a mix of Somali and Latino youth. Had a five session photography workshop that was, uh, it uh, culminated with an exhibit at Central Northeast Neighbors office where the youth got to come together with their families and show off the work they did. This project was very similar to other projects that we run all over the city. Uh, all year round, but um, in this case, we were invited um, by Hasi and the CBC to, to partner with them, and um, we had never worked in the Cully neighborhood before, and um, I know the Cully neighborhood is, a, is an underserved neighborhood, um, so it was great to have an opportunity to work with youth in, in the Cully neighborhood and um, give them an opportunity to express themselves and, um, and kind of share their, their experiences with with. Um, in a couple different ways. I mean, the biggest way it built community was through the, the exhibit at the end of the workshop. Um, you know, it was, we took the youth's photographs, we enlarged them, we put them up on walls at Central of these neighbors. We had texts that the youth generated during the workshop um, about their experiences, about their lives, put up with the photographs. They came out, their families came out, their community members came out. It was a great way to bring, bring youth and their families together, bring youth and other families together and, and give the broader community an opportunity to see what the youth are doing, what the youth are thinking, um, all together in a, in a you know, festive fun event. But beyond that, in the classroom, you know, we, we send the, the kids out with cameras um, in small groups. They work together. Um, they, they form new relationships. They overcome cultural boundaries. Um, all sorts of things like that happen on a smaller scale within our workshops. We send the kids home with cameras so they get to to bring back to the classroom um, images that you know reflect the things that are important to them in their homes, their families. Um, I think that it does build leadership in the young people. I mean, we something that we try to do through our workshops is to um, is to foster a sense of leadership. I mean, we give young people opportunities to to. Um, to talk about their lives, to talk about the things that are important to them, and really we treat them as authorities on their life. I mean, no one knows, no one knows about their lives um, better than they do, and we believe that every young person's voice is important. And um, I think through the classes and through the projects that we design, we try to foster a supportive environment in a classroom where all young people are respected and where they, um, where they. Um, can become leaders. Um, a lot of the projects we run give them opportunities to uh, go back to their community and talk to elders, and ask them questions, and sort of become almost ambassadors where they're bringing information, bringing knowledge back to us, back to their peers, and sharing it. It's led to a, to a renewal of this grant, which is great, we mm -hmm. get to do it again. Mm -hmm. um, and then on top of that, we're using this grant, which is a relatively small grant, to try to leverage additional funds um, so that we can do even more, so that we can expand this project from the Cully neighborhood to the Roseway and Madison South neighborhood, which are all neighborhoods that would really benefit from, from this kind of work. And, um, you know, we'll find out next month if that, if that comes through. But if it does, it's, you know, it really shows you how, you know, a small amount of money can really go a long ways. Um, not um, you know all the time we have people contacting us with really great project ideas and they don't have the money and we don't have the money always and you know a lot of times these these projects die it's unfortunate not the projects but the ideas die um, you know so it's great that in this case um, you know Central Northeast Neighbors was there with a small grant that gave us an opportunity to do this work and because of it we're going to get to do it again and get to hopefully make it bigger.